Hey guys, Kyako70 here. This is part 3 of the Pac-Man game tutorial. Um, so far I've showed you how to make a dot that you can eat, how to move, and how to make it so that the walls, that if you hit the walls you stop, and how to make a title screen. If you have not seen part 1 or 2 yet, please go and watch them. Alright, so let's get started. So now um, you can eat the dot, but nothing happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a score. So make a text box and write score. Doesn't matter. Um, highlight this and make sure it is static text. And make it pretty small, not too small, but it doesn't really matter. And put this somewhere near the top. Now uh, draw another text box and make it right next to it. And don't put anything, but set it to dynamic text, and set its variable to score. And so now you have a score, and go into your actions for frame 2, and under stop, put score equals 0. So that's saying when this frame starts, make this 0. Pretty basic. Nothing... Nothing fancy there. Okay, um, so now we're going to go into here, into your dot, and um, copy this. Actually, you know what? No. Just um, double click this and go into frame 2, and under stop, put score, uh, or sorry, underscore root dot score is uh, plus equals whatever you want it to go up. I'm gonna make it 10. So every time you eat that, when you eat that dot, score is gonna go up 10. And so now if we test it, when we eat it, the score goes up 10. Okay, so now um, we're gonna make a couple more dots. I'm just gonna make three for educational purposes. I don't wanna spend too long on this. But um, what you're going to have to do now is go and put dot two and dot three for the instance names. And then go into the actions part and put the actual dot two and dot three. If you're going to have a lot of dots, this can get a little bit tedious because you have to go to every dot and change its instance name to dot one, dot two, dot three, dot four, dot five, dot six, and also put it in the actions. But that's the only way I know how to do it. But now, when we test it, when we eat the dots, a score should go up 10, which it does. Okay, so now, basically, you just have a Pac-Man guy, and you eat dots, and you get a score. But there's no point. So what we're going to do is make it so that when you get a certain score, then go to... Um, the next go to the next frame basically so um what you can do is just go make an invisible object okay so now what i want you to do is select the oval tool and just make a little circle and put it anywhere you want put it in the corner or something and then just convert to a symbol make it a movie clip and we're going to call this um invisible you're not going to be able to see it. So now, um, just go into this and uh, just make another frame. And on here, go to actions and put stop. Copy this. Go into this one and put stop also. But then on the first frame, you're going to delete it. When you go to scene 1, it should still be there, but you won't be able to see it. So now what we're going to put is going to go um, on, clip, event, enter frame, and then we're going to say if score, or sorry, underscore root dot score is equals equals 30. Because 30 is how much my score is going to be because I have three dots and all three of them give you 10 points. So if root.score equals 30, underscore root dot, uh, 
or sorry, underscore parent dot go to and stop on frame three. Now let me check it. Okay, good. All right, so what's that saying is if score equals 30, which it will after I eat all these, go to frame three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, hit F6, we're gonna delete all these, delete this, and we're gonna make some text, and we're gonna put you win. And I'm gonna make it uh, blue and make it bigger. Now go into the frames actions and put the stop. And make sure this is static text. So now, if you test it, and you get 30 points, it goes to the UN screen. So this was part three of the How to Make a Pac-Man game tutorial. Please watch part four.